In today's video, I talk about safety a little bit here and the products I use to keep me safe and the products that are available in the description that you can buy that'll send me some of that sweet, sweet Amazon affiliate marketing money coming up. Hey, welcome to the video. Welcome to Medellin. My name is Christopher Buell, and you may not have heard of me from such books as Golden Nuggets of Hobo Wisdom and Golden Nuggets of International Dating. So today's video is going to be about security and the things I do to keep myself safe. So this is a video I've been thinking about from well before I came out here, and that is safety. And I discussed in an earlier video that Colombia really isn't super dangerous in a full-on frontal attack kind of way. It's, it's more an opportunistic type of society. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, if you leave your phone, they're going to take it. And I know me, and I leave my phone everywhere. So, uh, so what I've done to get around the phone issue is... I bought a tactical military grade cable cell phone leash and uh, basically goes in my pocket this clips on to the top of my pants and I don't forget my phone and I have had to replace this little string And I can tell you, <clears throat> I have enough string to last a lifetime. Because when you don't speak the language and you say yes to everything, they give you 10 meters of string when you only wanted one meter. So if you do end up buying a tactical military grade cable cell phone lease, and you need the extra string, I got your back. I highly recommend the product though, go buy it now. Secondly, for my wallet, I use the Rewind Duo. And I have to tell you, I think it's a great wallet. It's $42 on Amazon. And uh, works like a champ. I can go to the uh, subway station, hold on both rails, metro station. And I don't really worry about my phone or my wallet. Uh, you know, and it's one of those things, too, that, like, if I show a Colombian friend, sometimes the response will be, well, they can always cut it off. I think I'll know if somebody's using a pair of scissors, uh, you know, and, and it like gets to the ridiculous where, um, yeah, they could probably put chloroform on my face. And I mean, if somebody wants it bad enough, it's, it's, it's just a, a preventative. So those are two. I also got this travel backpack with security zipper lock. So when I have my valuables in there, and then it's got a little dial code where you can put a code in. Again, it's one of those things where they can always stick a knife in there and get to it. I, I get that, okay? It's not, it's not perfect. But those products have kept me feeling very secure. I've never had anything stolen, ever. Moving up the level of security, I use a tactical flashlight. And this was my main flashlight forever. The Streamlight. Link is in the description. 
and it is it's got a good feel the button on the back <clears throat> if it's nighttime my hands are near the flashlight my brother gave me a smaller one which the buttons on the side the Wubin okay this one is uh, I resisted it for a long time because of the the buttons on the side but the truth is it's fantastic I love it I uh, it, it's my go-to one uh, it's it's brighter and it's so much smaller I mean and what I like to do is I like to link that guy to my wallet when I'm wearing shorts this goes in the pocket that clips on to the top of my pants again I've never had a problem now it wouldn't be a golden nuggets video without some kind of a story so this is a good one and the problem is is that 90 percent of my audience comes from my son and his friends which are all minors so the adults are talking you're gonna have to turn it off now okay so i'm going to tell you about someone that i know and this actually happened and uh it started off with pick, him picking up two women. And if you're 50 or older and you have never picked up two girls in your life, you're being set up, okay? You're, that, that, no good comes from that. And um, oftentimes I have heard that if two women approach you and it's too easy, they're not even women. Um, now down here there's a root or a weed or something that grows everywhere and they have figured out that they can weaponize it. it it can turn into a drug and that's what they put in your drinks and it knocks you out but they can also put it on body parts and uh Let's say this, you, you, you need yourself some security wipes if you're bringing strange women or a strange woman home. And this person I know, he, uh, he didn't have security wipes and he was knocked out in a coma for two days. And there, it was a nice place he stayed at with the doorman, but uh, apparently doorman liked money and maybe they gave him $10 or whatever and uh these two women cleaned him out took everything he he almost died uh he actually had a similar situation in which he matched with a girl on tinder it was nine o'clock at night and she was like yeah i'll come over and they were on the couch and there again if you just match with a girl on tinder and it's nine o'clock on an, at night and she wants to come over chances are you're not that cool Again, especially if you're over 50 or 50 or whatever. And, uh, but this guy uh, was a little bit wiser and a lot luckier because she went to the bathroom. And when she did that, he had found uh, a vial of something. I don't know if it was empty or full or whatever. But while she was in the bathroom, he called up one of his cop friends and that guy told the cops to go down there and they busted her red-handed and uh you know there again the moral of the story is you ain't that cool have some security whites and until next time that is goldennuggetsmedia.com <laughs>